Working with Archie Shep in 1965 was something uh, of uh, the, the, the best kind of segue from me leaving Pharaoh Sanders and, and starting with Shep because they had both been on ascensions with John Coltrane and uh, I had already also played with Marion Brown. So when Archie uh, asked me to join his group, he uh, was playing Sousa Marches, uh, theme songs from Hollywood movies, and his own compositions and poetry. So I uh, immediately like the concept because you see the similarities in UJIT and the um, From Ragtime to No Time record. So those concepts in the East Village were around with each and every project that I was coming in contact with or being a part of. Uh, I remember when Archie was just playing free, he had read a poem uh, with just drums and uh, say a uh, poem could be something like after the Americans had come to help themselves and that was our, our cue to come in and we come in with the shadow of your smile and uh, on top of that and he's playing falsetto way up high and only see the whites of his eyes. You know. So uh, he was a drama major at uh, Bennington, I found out later. And he had that stage presence. And then we turn right around and go into a Sousa March. And that I could, couldn't figure out in the beginning. You know. Roswell Rudd had a degree from Yale and uh, he played as good a piano as he played the trombone. And so this group, this uh, uh, very layered group of, uh, with all kinds of diversity, diversity in the musicians and in the uh, material, uh, had the people really, really uh, sitting back, we go to, um, Keystone Corner in San Francisco. And it was really young people uh, before millennials, but that's what they were. Uh, just swarming all around, more so than on the East Coast. Then we found out that the college circuit with the black studies programs were the place for us. We'd always have a gig, even from Cornell on down through the South. And sometimes they say, you know, the dormitory is full. You guys mind sleeping on the floor over here? And uh, we always said yes. Uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't matter where we slept. Uh, it didn't matter uh, if we had to take the bus down, say, to Baltimore. And um, some of the gigs were really traditionally in theaters with good pianos, and some of them were in uh, back rooms with broken pianos and no place to stay. Uh, and this is right after, say, civil rights were uh, uh, universal, but people still hadn't gotten used to it. It, it was kind of like, okay, you're free, but you uh, don't see anybody else uh, acting on it on, on a large scale. Once in a while, there was an interracial couple holding hands, and that was kind of like, wow, they're really bold, you know? Uh, and uh, so, so they, they just kept getting more and more relaxed socially and uh, everybody 
all of a sudden would be able to 24-7 be into that mode. It just didn't happen in one year or two years.